Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the hub assembly on your washer. This is a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. And to do this repair, we simply need to remove the agitator from inside the tub and we can access this part. So make sure the tub is empty, all of the clothing is removed, and then we can start the procedure. And with the lid opened up, our next step will be to remove this cap. If you look around the perimeter of that, you'll see a slotted opening. We'll fit a flat blade screwdriver into there and then just pry that up. Now once we pop that off, that will expose a bolt that secures that agitator to the transmission shaft using a 7 16 socket or an 11 millimeter socket. Just loosen that bolt. You'll need to hold that tub from turning as you loosen the bolt. You just grasp the fins on that agitator and pull it up. We need to take it all the way off. And once the bolt is loosened completely, just lift up on that agitator and pull it directly off the shaft. And that will expose the hub assembly. Now if you have the older style, it will have a drive block on the top of it. And this particular style of hub will not fit on that style of transmission. So verify that you have the correct part first. Again, we'll use a flat blade screwdriver. We'll locate this fork shaped holder. We're simply going to pry that out of the hub. Remove that all the way and discard it. And next we'll remove the six retaining screws that secure that hub to the inner basket. And before we remove those screws, you'll note that there are a number of holes around the base of that tub. And we really should cover those just in case we drop one of those screws as they roll down into that opening, they're very difficult to get back out. All right, next we'll just remove those six screws. Now we can lift that hub assembly off of the transmission shaft. If it doesn't come off easily, you can just reach in underneath and pry it off. We'll discard the old one. Now you'll note on the new hub assembly, when you turn it over, you'll see these splines on the inside that will meet up with the splines on the uh, transmission drive shaft. So we're simply going to lower that down onto that shaft, line up the spline so that it slides down easily. And at that point, we can rotate the tub to line up the bolt holes. Just rotate the tub until those holes line up. Push that hub down as far as you can push it. Then we'll use the screws to draw it down the rest of the way. So just snug one of them up and then use three of them in a triangular shape.
Now with all six screws in place, we'll next put the fork through those slotted openings and that will engage a groove on the side of that basket drive tube. Now you may need a small hammer to tap it in the rest of the way. Now once that's fully inserted, we we'll remove our rags on the bottom of the tub and then we'll put the agitator back in place. Just place it on the shaft. Once the splines line up, it should drop down flush with the base of the tub, and then we can tighten that bolt. Again, you'll have to hold the tub still while you tighten that bolt. We'll put the cap back over that bolt. You'll note that there are three tabs that will line up with the holes at the top of that agitator. And that should put the slotted opening over one of the ribs on the agitator. Make sure that's snapped in place, and then we can close it up. Now that we have the part in place, the last step of this repair is to do a calibration. You'll note when you open the part that there was a sheet that gave you a specific directions on how to do a calibration of this washer once you've done your repair, and it's very important that you do so. Once you've done that, your repair is complete.